stationery manufacturer Pelican International Corporation is expecting to see cost savings of over 100 million ringgit from its proposed acquisition of Hurlitz AG and route to achieving its target of 1 billion euro or 5.05 billion ringgit in turnover in 2012. Pelican's president and chief executive officer Lu Hui Kiat at a press briefing said that he is positive that this is an achievable target. According to Lu, the acquisition would result in a combined revenue of between 2.8 billion ringgit to 3 billion ringgit based on financial year 2008 figures. To recap, last Friday, Pelican signed a deal with stationary product Sal, wholly owned subsidiary of Advent International, to acquire a 66% stake in Hurlis together with a Falcon Sea Logistics Centre for 45 million euro or 227.7 million ringgit cash. Pelican is also obliged to make a voluntary general offer of VGO for the 34% stake in Hurlis it does not own. According to Lou, the price will be determined based on Hurlis three month average weighted share price, which is around 1.5. 0.85 euro per share. This means that a successful VGO would result in an additional 7 million euro that brings the final price tag to 52 million euros. When asked if Pelican was looking to fund the acquisition using the proceeds from its recently announced rights issue, where the group aims to raise 188.74 million ringgit, Lou said that the bulk would come from bank borrowings. Pelican had announced a rights issue on October the 21st. As to whether Pelican has any acquisitions in the pipeline, Lou didn't rule out the possibility but said that the company would only look at brands that proved complementary to its existing product line.